Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. He started his ministry here. So for KUFI to be here, an organization that is organized to stand with Israel and the Jewish people, Dr. King's heart for Israel was huge. He said Israel is a, an oasis of democracy in a desert of tyranny. To him, Christians standing with Israel was the right thing to do. Civil Rights Foundation is based on biblical law. Dr. Martin Luther King's position was, we are the same. When Dr. King was uh, looking for help, help came. And it came from the Jewish community. It came from Rabbi Abraham Heschel. He walked with Dr. King in 1965 during the Selma March, Christian and Jew walking together to advance civil rights. Civil rights, it's that image of two peoples from different backgrounds, born in different continents, working, walking together, saying we are all humans. So yeah, we had those who marched for the cause. What about individuals who actually died for the cause? Black and Jewish. Andrew Goodman, Jewish. Michael Schwerner, Jewish. This man was found with red clay in his hands, clutching it, which meant he was buried alive for the cause. This is why it's important for people of African descent in this country, when they hear and smell anti-Semitism, they better stand against it when it's inconvenient to come out against it because when it was inconvenient for them to stand for the rights of people of color in this country, they did it. When I was liberated from Buchenwald, there were two men come, came in. One was black and one was white. So black person is a liberator. What are they talking about? Why the separation? This is wrong. The question always is, how does the American individual see not just the Jew, but Israel? It's essential that today, when the amount of anti-Semitism throughout the world is just exponentially exploding, we need to do something. Well, here we are tonight. We want to see civil unity take off in a massive movement like so many other things took off from this area. The very building in which this is going to take place was put together by both blacks and whites. It was black and white coming together to build something of value, to build something of permanence, to build something that could change the world. And that's what it's going to take today. Nothing has changed. It's going to take both coming together, Jew and Christian, black and white, whomever, coming together so that change can be made in civilization.